The umpire for this one, Kreising Dongdup of Thailand. He's supported by the service judge, Tio Kien Ju. Setiawan on the left with his back to camera, the taller of the two. And although you would possibly say that one favours the net and one goes deep, they all can do everything these days. There's no real uh, established pattern of uh, situation. Defending and attacking, what you can guarantee is going to be very, very quick, very fast. The shuttle will move very flat over the net and that uh, it will be very exciting, that is for sure. The second of three matchups then, in a, a kind of Thomas Cup format in the team competition. But the powerhouses of Southeast Asian uh, badminton, Indonesia and Malaysia, two teams in this competition each, are on track to uh, probably meet in the semi-finals at the moment, although there's another day of preliminary competition to go following this one. Terry Yeo and, uh, oh, there is, in fact, uh, 31. Terry Yeo and Yi Liu are, uh, well, really impressed, I have to say, against uh, the Malaysian pair of Ao Yao Han and Choi Ka Meng. They really did very, very well yesterday. And although they lost out eventually in 55 minutes, they lost out... Uh, 21-14, they took the second 21-15 and then it was 21-19 in the third against Ao Yao Han and Choi Ka Meng of Malaysia, the former World Junior Champions from uh, 2009. That was a big performance. So, again, they are reaching for the stars here, the Singapore team. Gonanza against Taufik, how big was that? Yo and Liu against uh, Setiawan and Kido. It doesn't come any bigger than that in terms of doubles. It's just enormous gunungs to climb. Just finishing the warm-up now. We'll be underway with the second match-up. We've got six matches for you today. Two. Uh, Two more to come at the moment, uh, Indonesia Garuda versus Singapore, then that will be followed by Malaysia Leopards, the, the youngsters, the juniors, the pretenders, the wannabes from Malaysia against Vietnam. And uh, up in KL it will be Malaysia Tigers, the first team. And the rumour has it that Chong Wei might play in that after his injury from the All England and his pull out in uh, Swiss, the Swiss Open. Chong Wei looking to try to get back into form again for the Olympics, Ladies obviously. But he doesn't want to risk it either, so we'll see. We, it'll be, uh, be very interesting when he makes the team for the Malaysian Tigers versus Thailand, which is a big one, of course. And Indonesia, Rajawali will play against Philippines. So another four big ties in the Axiata Cup for you to, to witness today. And I must say, it's a great pleasure watching this Fantastic really tournament to developed. Love all play. That is a brilliant first rally, Indonesia with the point, with a jump, drop shot from Setiawan, it's 1-0, Setiawan will serve. Kido comes in with a huge hit to the body. Wow, that really was like a punch bag there being struck, it was huge, great hit, great jump smash. 2-0. They want to get this one done quickly.
In these first three points, you have witnessed why this duo of Setuan and Kido were at the top of the doubles tree in the world for so long. That was absolutely dynamic brilliance. Tremendous retrieving, fantastic speed and wonderful power. Brilliant doubles. And another one for 4-0. Well, Terry Yeo and Yi Liu must wonder what uh, they've done wrong at the moment. The answer is nothing. They've just not been as good as Setuan and Kido in playing these opening exchanges. And another point for 5-0. Five, Five, no. What a dynamic start for Indonesia. And the backhand there from Setuan, set up from Kido's dummy to Long. It's 6-0. It's carnage. It's brutal. First point on an error to this famous line is becoming, isn't it? Closest to me. And Setuan, a little ironic smile there. He knows that that's a problem point. They're going to have to pull back from that uh, side just a little bit. And an error on the play from Setiwan again. So two mistakes from Setiwan, two points, Singapore. That's what you do when you're a net player. You watch it being set up for you by your guy behind and you absolutely kill it when you're given half a chance. 7-2. Cellcom, of course, one of the other companies that Axiat are involved with. Excel as well. A huge uh, telecoms group based in Malaysia, but one of Asia's largest now. So the Axiata group have great ambitions. And of course, being involved in one of Asia's great sports is another major ambition being achieved. Another a mistake from Setuan. He's not been as accurate. Kido hasn't put a foot wrong yet. But it's still a big score in favour of Indonesia. 4-8. Do you like it fast and furious and exciting? Well, that's exactly what you've got here at the moment. Another superb rally. These four players really, really going at it. Tooth and nail. Fantastic. 5-8. And Singapore putting on another big, big showing. In the spotlight again, they will be delighted with what's happening here. Liu with the serve. Kido misses one. And it's under pressure from Liu, who was chasing it down with racket held high. Threatening all the time. That's what forced the error. 6-8. That's gone again. 7-8. 7-8. What a fight back. So they're rising from the dead here, Singapore. What a shot. That's a brilliant, brilliant backhand from Terry Yo. Wow! You don't catch out Hendra Setiwan without coming up with something special. That is now levelled up at 8 all. Fat, fat, lucky, lucky, Singapore. And now they take the lead. Can you believe it? Wow! A few errors from Setiwan, some brilliance from Terry Yeo, some careful and really, really aggressive net play from Yi Lu. And Singapore in the lead. Just for the moment. <laughs> the noise, the atmosphere, the crowd are really in for this, I tell you. Magnificent occasion. That's gone. 
unlucky there from Yi Liu, just caught a little bit of an awkward angle there into the hip. But Terry Yo was quite sensational, following up brilliantly, retrieving well. It's all about retrieving this doubles game. That's out. 11, nine, it's going to the break then at 11 points to nine in favor of Indonesia's Setuan and Kido. They started out with an absolute canter. In bo boxing parlance, you'd say that they were they were putting in body punches and also uppercuts to the chin, and they were absolutely rocking their opponents on the ropes. Suddenly, Singapore got second wind, found a way to stay in this match. Yo particularly was very, very impressive retrieving. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So they will come back to court, 11-9 in favor of Setiawan and Kido. sensational Marcus Kido his trademark jump smash cross court watch the angle on this watch the power it's magnificent you won't see a finer jump smash in the game and a little bit too ambitious there with that flat flat attempted stab 14-9 it's coming back towards Indonesia again Oh, Setiawan. 10, 14. Gosh, there was a lot of lively action there. They really do come strongly with the power, don't they? And again, forcing an error. 15, 10. Setuan was uh, actually born in Pamalong, central Java. As he picks up the shuttle, passes it to his partner. They've had such a fantastic uh, life together, you would say. As partners, they've experienced so much. Gold in the 2008 10. Beijing Olympic Games in the doubles. In Guangzhou, they won the Asian doubles as well. Bronze in Doha 18, in the doubles. 10. Been right at the top of the tree for a long, long time. In men's doubles, back in 2007, they were ranked at number one in the world. So, absolutely brilliant, brilliant career. And the youngsters, Terry Yeo and Yi Liu of Singapore, are putting up a big battle here. They're being very competitive. Yeah, forcing an error there from Setiwa. They were also world champions, of course, after defeating uh, Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Dae in South Korea. That was in 2007 as well. 21-19, 21-19, as you remember, that was in Malaysia. Too big again. He is quite short, relatively speaking, but look at the power he gets, look at the height, and that is quite sensational delivery. 20 points to 12, it's Indonesia on the verge of taking this game. And that's it. It's 21-12 in favor of Septuan and Kido, the former number ones in the world, former world champions, Olympic champions. I mean, Indonesia Garuda have started this matchup in the Axiata Cup with world and Olympic champion Taufik Hidayat, world and Olympic champion Setuan and Kido. Wow.
you just have to believe that they're serious about this event. Well, they must be disappointed not to have got closer, that's for sure. But they really, considering the start they made, the Lindan look-alike on the right there has, uh, has really put in a lot of big effort. How do you stay motivated? How do you keep up the pressure all the time? These guys, if you talk to them, will be able to tell you. They just love their game, they love their country, and they love playing in an audience and in a theatre like this. With so much ambition and passion around. It's fantastic. Singapore you saw in the background there is uh, still waiting in the wings we've got Huang Chao coming up against Sunny Dui and Choro and the Singapore squad and badminton team are showing de de marked signs of improvement they've been under the cosh for quite a while and not delivering but they're developing now a squad that is really impressive I've certainly not seen them compete at this kind of level and this well for a long, long time. And I've spent over 35 years of my life in Singapore. This is very impressive. Karai Sing Tong Tuk calls them to play the second game. And uh, Marcus Kido great, puts a great serve in. I'm just thinking back now to, to Beijing Two, and that extraordinary win by Kido and Setiawan. They lost the first game, 21-12 against uh, Chai Yun and Fu Hai Feng. The big, big, big hitting left hander. And then took the next two, 6, 11, and 16. It was a remarkable feat. Out. It's gone again. Four, two. It's 4 2. That's better. Good work there from Liu to finish Singapore. off a, a very three, strong four. attack there from Singapore. It's 3 4. That's gone as well, so it's 4 all. I can hardly hear myself think, and certainly I can't hear much of what I'm saying. Some people might say that's a blessing, but uh, the atmosphere is quite extraordinary. We've got uh, youngsters standing up and waving their flags, and the horns are going, and it's really quite a special atmosphere. It's a festival atmosphere in this Axiata Cup second day of competition. Just a little bit of drifting at the moment, this, uh, this match. Second game, 7-4 to Indonesia. Setiawan with the service. piece of net play so there that wasn't the best. Five, That's the pattern that we've come to expect. Kido coming up with a big hit. 
a saving point from the opposition and then set you on finishing it off lots of wrist on that one getting the angle very very high from the net Guido taking up duties at the front of the court now putting a lovely little backhand into the body confusing his opponent Guido of course was born in uh, Jakarta this is a home tournament both these players were born in 84 7-9 so at 28 years old now both of them just shows they are probably just a little bit past their prime but they can still put on a great great show that is just out in case you're new to the sport the tram lines long tram lines are the ones that are closest to us they are out as far as uh, double serving is concerned it's just short and fat if you like it that way oh wow an apology there from terry yo as that shuttle creeps over the net keto couldn't believe it in the singles of course the base line is used the base tram line is used for the sing uh, service good power play yo that's in this time down through the middle that's where you aim if you want uh, confusion in the ranks in doubles let's have a look at it it's a good shot down through the middle and yo does the job again it's long and we go to the break in the second game it's 11 points to nine and that's exactly the same score as in the first game In the end, it went out at 21-12 in favour of uh, Setuan and Kido, so their expectations would be significant. And of course, they're at the end where there's lots of errors on the lines, as you just saw there. Once more, we've seen a brilliant performance by the officials as well. Not one incident we've had complaint over, even in replay. So well done, Axiata Cup officials. And BAC, of course. 20 seconds. 20 seconds and PBSI at the end of the day you just need a fair playing field and uh, they've certainly delivered that here in Jakarta but look at the size of the court right in the middle 11, of a nine, big big stadium it's a lot to get used to and a very very high ceiling as well so we go over 10-11 Singapore working hard here to stay in this match. Terry Yo. It's in. 11 all. 11 all. Oh, great work. Setiawan did well in the middle of that rally. He retrieved brilliantly. Some great reflex play. Kept the, sh the shuttle in play. And then eventually it was Kido that finished it off right there. Out. Into the face. Now the gold medal at the 2010 uh, Asian Games in Guangzhou. But the Malaysians will be certainly interested in that. Ku Kien Kat and Tan Bun Yong were beaten in that final. It was an absolute cracker. They may well be meeting up again later, I guess. Certainly, potentially, Kun Kiat and Tan Bun Yong in the Malaysia Tigers team. We'll see whether Chong Wei is going to be playing in that one later. Hafiz Hashim took the number one single spot and Go was the number two single so Chong Wei 
Hans Rumand will be playing later on today, but uh, that's not confirmed. Don't believe me, it's just uh, rumour going around here in Jakarta. It's 14 all in the second game. Good work, Singapore. An ouch moment from Gunam and uh, from uh, Terry Yo. And another one. 16 14. He's played so well, it'd be a huge disappointment to uh, lose it in two. It'd be great to see them go to three, but another error on this line. 17-14. Gets a bit monotonous me saying it, I know, but uh, they're not learning from experience. The backhand was the wrong option, but it was a great target right into the... Uh, the hip pocket. Setiwan is a crafty player. Aha, that's better. Yi Liu found a really great cross court. Look, look at the angle on that. Kido is not normally wrong footed to that extent. It's 15 18. Last throw of the dice here for Singapore. And they have Seven missed it. They're going to go away from this casino empty handed. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> no, dear. Hendra Sutiwan, come on. You've been given this opportunity. A million bucks at the end of this uh, tournament. Wow. It's gone. It's now 2016. And once again, the, uh, the crowd get into this and the Mexican wave is around me. You can't quite see it from where you are, but uh, it's a magical moment. And that is it, 21-16. And you have to say that world and Olympic champions are reigning supreme here. Hendra Setiwan, we just see on the left. Marcus Kido on the right, a Jakarta boy. Makes Jakarta smile again here in the Sanaya Tennis Center. Superb effort. They have beaten Singapore by two matches to zero in this tie. We will still see a third one. Sunny Dui Kunchoro will come up against Wang Chao in just a while. But ultimately, although there was big battling from Yo and Yi Liu of Singapore in this doubles, ultimately they were beaten by experience, by talent, by the form book. And, uh, well, they will be certainly learning from these experiences here in Jakarta. Great matchup against the Malaysians yesterday, against uh, the legends, Setuan and Kido today. It can't get any better than that, can it? Axiata Cup alive and kicking here. 21-16 in the second, 2-0 to Indonesia. And we've got one more day of preliminaries to go after this one.